OK, uh, moving around the four mode buttons clockwise from the EQ button, we go to the Learn button next, which is the Plug-in mode button. OK, uh, the first press, like with all the other buttons, uh, mode buttons, the first press takes us to Mixer view, second press to Channel view. So the first press is Plugins, Mixer view. We're addressing Plugin slot 1, and this pot will control one parameter of plugin slot one for each channel on the mixer, because we're in mixer view. Second press takes us into plugins channel view, which means that all the pots along the top are dedicated to controlling some aspect of the plugin for the selected channel only. Okay. Now, like with the EQ mixer view, we could change the EQ band. Right, and then the pot was controlling one parameter of the selected EQ band. Right? Alrighty, well, if I go to the plug-in mixer view, it's the same thing. We're initially controlling plug-in slot one. This pot along the top controls one parameter of plug-in slot one for each channel on the mixer in whichever bank of eight you're in. I can use the shift and the cursor up-down buttons just the same as changing EQ band to choose a different plug-in slot. Okay, so I'll choose plug-in slot 2. Now one of the consequences when you are using this front panel to scroll and choose the plug-in slot for the plug-in mixer view is that if there are any plugins in the plug-in slots of the highlighted channel strip, which just happens to be the highlighted channel strip at the time that you do this, they will pop up. Right. Okay, so I'll set it on plug-in slot 2. As I said, that GUI will pop up like that as a consequence of doing that, but close it using your mouse. Don't close it using the V key on the keyboard, which will close an open plug-in um, GUI, because then there's a bug where after you've closed it with the V key, it keeps popping up every time you change channel. Okay, close it with the mouse. Now we've selected plug-in slot 2 for our plug-in mixer view, which means that this pot is now controlling some parameter of plug-in slot 2. But it's not like with the EQ mode. With the EQ mode, we could change the band of the EQ, and then we could also change the parameter that was being controlled. Um, it was sort of frequency gain, Q, and on-off. In plug-in view, we can change the plug-in slot, to two for example and I've got to close this GUI again but we can't change parameter all right that doesn't that, all that does is shift us around the channels all right so the parameter is fixed and the parameter that's being controlled for the selected plug-in slot in plug-in mixer view is the opening of the plugin or the installing of the plugin if there isn't one there on that plugin slot already for each channel. So for example we've chosen plugin slot 2 so this pot will open the plugin on slot 2 for each channel in the mixer in whichever bank of 8 we're in regardless of which channel is highlighted. Okay so this is the fifth channel if I press this button this pot as a button it will open the, the plugin in slot 2 on the fifth channel. And there you go, it's opened it, and it is the compressor. Okay. Once that plugin is open, the BCF shifts into plugin channel view, where the pots along the top are now controlling the parameters of that plugin, one pot per parameter. Okay. And you can step up and down that. Uh, that set of parameters in pages like you could with the EQ bands but it's very important that you set this setup to do that properly okay if you go down this list in the control services group where it says parameter page shift mode you must change that to by page All right. you must once it's set to by page, okay, we've opened our plugin. The GUI has popped up. We're now controlling the first page of that plugin's parameters. 
we then hold the shift and use the cursor left right to step to the next page of parameters and with it set with this setup set to by page when we page up we're paging up a whole bank of eight parameters okay so this is the first eight parameters of the open plugin I'm now moving up to the next eight parameters and you'll keep going up those pages of parameters as far as you can go in other words as far as there are parameters available all right so I'll step back down to page one okay uh, and then you just go back to plugin mixer view and it closes the plugin all right okie doke the other thing of course is I will open the remember it's plugin slot 2 pressing this pot opens that plugin so I'll open the plugin on slot 2 for the first channel which again is a compressor. Okay, now once you've opened that plugin and you've gone into plugin channel view, it's like with the EQ, you can then step around the channels and the plugin GUI on the logic screen updates to show the plugin in the selected slot for the selected channel. So if like me, you've got a compressor in your second slot, all right, once I've got the second slot plugin open, on whichever channel I initially opened it in, I can then move around my channels and I'm adjusting the compressor for each channel. I'm adjusting the ratio now and now the ratio for the second channel compressor. Oops, sorry, the ratio. And now the ratio for the first channel compressor. And now the ratio for the seventh channel compressor, etc. Right, now let me go back to plugin mixer view and now we'll change slot to slot 3, plugin slot 3. Okay, so plugin slot 3. Now this time a GUI hasn't popped up, a plugin hasn't popped up because when I changed to slot 3, this channel happened to be highlighted in logic and there is nothing on slot 3. But if, for example, I'd had this slot uh, this channel selected channel number one it does have a plugin on slot three so when I went to go to slot three the GUI of that plugin would open because there was something on slot three for that selected channel okay but again you must close it with the mouse okay so now we're addressing plugin slot three per channel because we're in plugin mixer view now notice these first five pots the LED is sort of further up the ladder so to speak. These ones are all down the bottom. They don't have a third plug-in in. So you'll see that the LED display will be right, you know, sort of low. That these five channels here, they all do have a plug-in on slot three, so their LEDs are sort of higher up to reflect that. Okay? So I'll now open the third plug-in on channel two. There you go, it's open. It's a tape delay drag it over here there you go okay so it's the same again I can now I've opened that third plugin we've gone into plugin channel view where all the pots are controlling the parameters of that plugin look okay and once that plugins open that third plugin I can then change channel and the plugin updates to show the plugin for the selected channel if there is a plugin on the selected channel for slot 3 which is the one we're editing right and it will Update even if the plugin is a different type. Look, I've moved to this channel which has got a chorus on plugin free and it updates to show the chorus. And this will now show you another aspect of it, which is you know, we're in this plugin channel view where all the pots are dedicated to controlling the parameters of the plugin that's selected. Well, the chorus only has three parameters, so there's only three LED pots that are lit because there's only three parameters and there are no pages to step up. I can't step up any pages because there aren't any. You know, there are only three parameters and these five pots therefore are all blank, all right? Okay, so that's how it works. But what if I then step to the next channel, which hasn't got a plugin on, uh, plugin slot three? Well, nothing happens. It just highlights the channel. But as soon as I go to one that does have a plugin on slot three, that then appears because I'm still in plugin channel view for slot three, all right? Alrighty, 
for us. Put that over there. Yep. All right. So there is one other function this pot has, but it's next to useless, and that is um, okay. These three channels here don't have a plug-in on slot three. We are controlling currently in mixer view, you know, plug-in mix mixer view slot three. This pot will open the plug-in on slot three for these five channels because they've got a plug-in. Right, these five. These three do not have a, th a plug-in in slot three. So if we press them, they can't open a plug-in. But what what will happen when we press them is that they'll, they'll install a plug-in which will then open. Well, hoop, hey, the high shelf EQ. But I had no way of choosing which plug-in was going to be installed when I pressed that button. Yeah, and it's the same for if that channel already has a plug-in in slot 3, if I press this button it will it will install a different plug-in depending on where the LED display is around this centre marker but there is no way at all of knowing which position on the LED means which plug-in is being installed so I can move the LED to that position okay there's already a plug-in in slot 3 but when I press this pot it will change it to a different plug-in and open, and open it there you go, the pitch shifter, but I had no way of knowing that was the pitch shifter I was choosing. Alright, so I'll rotate the pot a bit more. The LED's moved one more jump. Now it's installed a gold verb and opened that ready to edit. I'll move the LED just one more movement. Right, I don't know if you can see this. No. There, I've moved it one more position LED. Press the pot and now it's installed a tremolo. Alright, I'll move the LED pot I'll move the pot rather one little turn, not enough to even make the LED jump one more movement. And now it's installed a phase distortion. Oh, again, I'll move it a tiny little bit, not enough to move the LED. And now it's installed an adaptive limiter. And now a limiter. And now, you see what I mean? Look, basically, the bottom line is you cannot select here. There's no way of actually turning this pot and knowing what damn plug in is going to be inserted into that slot when you press it so your only recourse is you've got to install your plugins manually using the mouse okay that's the bottom line all right sorry but there it is it's a shame I mean if only it worked where for example you press the pot down and then when you held it pressed down and rotated this list would pop up and as you rotated you know this would scroll down through the plug-in so you could actually see which one you were selecting and when you got the one you want you pressed the pot or released it and it would install that plug-in. Sadly it doesn't work like that. Alright, so I'll just take this off. Alright, so that's how the plug-in channel view and sorry, plug-in mixer view and works. Uh, you open the plug-in and then once the plug-in's open the BCF switches to plug-in channel view and you're then editing that open plugin and once you've gone into that channel view you can step around between different channels and the plugin will update and you're editing the plugin on the same slot for the selected channel if there is one All right okay now that we now need to look at plugin channel view where you've you haven't sort of Gone to plugin mix view, opened a plugin, and then it's gone into plugin channel view. Yeah, that is probably what I've, that's what I've explained now. Where you're controlling the plugin, but you can of course go, you know, like press the plugin button twice and go straight away into plugin channel view, where these pots are controlling some aspect of the plugin slots for the selected channel. Okay. But a plugin hasn't actually opened up yet, so these pots are going to have different controls now, but for the selected and highlighted channel only. Let's look at that next. 